Hey everybody on YouTube, it's Rachel the Student Witch and I have an unboxing. So let me make sure I cover up names and whatnot. I got something from Etsy and this is actually my very first order from, from Etsy. But I got the Oracle of Echoes by Anna Tur Turian. Yes, Anna Turian. And I first heard about this deck on Kellyanne Maddox's channel, which I will link her kind of unboxing reveal video below. And um, just the images, I just, I fell in love with these images. They're just so pertinent to the kind of like mental, emotional journey I'm on right now. So I just knew I, I had to get them. I had to get them. And I will also link um, Anna's, the creator's uh, website below where you can see uh, the cards and you'll find um, a link on her website that leads to her Etsy shop, which is where you can purchase this deck. Um, I ordered it probably a week ago, so it arrived within a week. It ships from um, New Jersey. I live in Massachusetts, so maybe a week to 10 days for those who might live further away within the continental U United States. I have no idea about international shipping or anything like that, how long it will take, but it's definitely <sighs> worth it. The images are just so beautiful. So without further ado, let me dig in. So excited. I don't want to damage anything. Eh. Oop, almost dropped it. Okay. Eh. Alright. Comes in the bubble wrap. We got her business card. Luna Sula Luna Solare. Pendant Statues and More. That's the name of her Etsy shop. And she does um, have like handcrafted statues on there which are just gorgeous. Like this woman is an artist, like for real. Oh, and on the back uh, she has a little note. Rachel, thanks so much for your order. I hope you'll love your Oracle of Echoes. Blessings, Anna. Oh, that's so great. That's such a great touch. And there's also another card here. To receive your copy of the Oracle of Echoes guidebook, please visit oracleofechoes.com and enter the code. Oh, okay, so I guess the guidebook um, is online. I'll cover up the code because you have to buy to get the guidebook online through her website. And that's really great. Um, I'll have to double check that, make sure I'm not making that up. But it seems like it's a, an e-guidebook, which is great, uh, very eco-conscious, you know, not wasting paper or anything. But this is such a beautiful image. That, this is an example of her art. Um, so, yes, without further ado, how do I get into this bubble wrap? <laughs> oh, I'm just going to have to like dig in. Tape and bubble wrap. I need the scissors. Some more. Okay. So once you remove the bubble wrap, you have just a very simple box in the plastic, the cellophane. So let me cut the cellophane off without scratching it up. Um, that would be a good spot to do this. Down the side, maybe. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> there we go. The Oracle of Echoes. Anna Christina Turian. 
This is the front. It's the same image that was on this little card with the code. And this is an example of one of the cards on the back, Spirit Heals. Look how gorgeous that is. Just being embraced by the universe and knowing everything's going to be okay. The Oracle of Echoes is a vivid 50 card deck divination system that explores the inner reflections of the human psyche, offering a unique magical entrance into the patterns of our soul through beautiful intuitive illustrations full of color and symbolism. A little description on the side. Oracle of Echoes, Oracle of Echoes. All right. The box just opens up here on the top. Now let's see, okay, first we just have kind of like a title card, Oracle of Echoes by Anna Turian. Look how beautiful that is. That's so trippy. And these, yes, this is what the backing looks like, the back of the cards. Gorgeous. This deck, I specifically got this deck to help me with shadow work and to help me with my anxiety and depression. And there's actually a depression card in this deck and that was like ah, a sign, like I need this. <laughs> um, and plus the artwork just speaks to me. Um, it looks like, I can't tell and I'm not an expert in this, but it looks like a lot of like sketching and watercolors and I really love how watercolors look and how they kind of like leak across uh, surfaces like the paper or whatever that's being painted um, yeah I really love watercolors so we'll just go card to card I don't know if I'll go through all the cards because I want you to go to her website and explore the cards there but um, we'll go through a bunch Awaken inner force. Being embraced by that dragon. That's gorgeous. Ooh, a journey. This looks like a mixture of, there's oils, oil painting, and maybe some watercolors. A journey with the ship and the shore and the water. It's just, oh, it's so gorgeous. Transformation. This almost makes me think of a coffee stain. Like when um, around the edge of the cup, when you set your cup down and there's a ring of coffee. <laughs> but then there's the flower and the face and growth out of the head. I love it. Creativity. That's gorgeous. Spirit guides. Okay, so this is the same image as what I'm going to call the title card for the deck. Spirit guides. This is amazing. There's multiple layers to this. We have the city down below and then faces in the sky and then above them more um, just abstract like the faces in the sky, the tops of their heads like bleed into like more astral realms with the, the red and that's amazing. Sorrow. Simple, to the point. A warning, ooh, this one's cool. Spirit Heals, which we saw in the back of the box. Rest. Oh, I like this image. Take a rest. Balance. This is definitely like the tree pose in yoga, which is one of my favorite poses. Gorgeous. Beyond the Veil. Ah! It's not only the artwork, it's the, the very short descriptions on the bottom of the card. K. 
chaos. Look at that cyclone of energy and thought coming out of the top of their head. Love me some chaos. Create, create space. I like that. Create space. Take up space. Makes me think of casting a circle or something like that. Ooh, deceit. Death is very interesting. It makes me think of the hanged man in the tarot. Maybe diving down into the underworld. Depression. This is one of the cards that convinced me to get this deck. That's exactly what depression feels like. For me, anyway. Vulnerability. God speaks. Divine Masculine. And Goddess Speaks. I love the earthy tones for the Goddess. Ooh, I like this one. Imperfect Beauty. I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bird on their shoulder. Imperfect beauty. Father time. I like this. Fear. The snake going down the spine. Healing. This is another amazing card. The little sprout growing up after after the forest fire, after the destruction, there's still life and growth. Inner strength is another awesome card. Climbing out of the lion's mouth. That's amazing. Let me skip over a few. Ooh, hope. Often when I look at the moon, especially the full moons, I, I feel hope. It's that light in the darkness, right? Let go. This is amazing. Like the pier disappearing into the water. Let go. Let it go to the all. New horizons. Self-involved. I like that. It's okay to be self-involved. It's not the same as being selfish. The Ancestors is another one of my favorites that I remember. The roots with the faces. That's an amazing depiction. of the concept of ancestors, shadow self, this is great. The persona and the shadow, the layers there, that's amazing.
the crone. So we have Father Time and we also have the crone. That's great. The lovers. Trust. This is the image on the front of the box. Handing your heart to someone. Vulnerability. That's a great image. Loss. Another very powerful image. I love the intuition card. That's another one of my favorites. It's that third eye opening, the stairway up to heaven, tapping into downloads from the universe. That's amazing. Abundance. Very Tarot Empress vibe from Abundance. Decisions is another great card. Which path in the woods are you going to take? What can you learn from each of the different paths? That's great. Courage. I really like. And lastly, oh not lastly, <laughs> we have the moon, second to last. And look to nature. which is really going to help me because I find that um, I, I need to work on grounding a lot. It's something that I've been overlooking, something essential that I've been overlooking. So yeah, so these are, uh, this is the Oracle of Echoes deck. Uh, again, down below, I will include Kellyanne's unboxing. Um, she goes into a little bit more detail because she actually um, talked to or had contacted or interchanged, <laughs> exchanged with the artist herself, um, Anna Turian. If you want to see all the cards in the deck, definitely go to her website, which is also below. And uh, think about picking up a copy. It's, it's so beautiful. Okay. Until next time, many blessings. Bye.